Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Now, I have done a little bit of not exploring, but uh, this those mountains over in the distance have looks actually no, not those. There's ones over like there. Um, they have a bunch of clay, uh, like hardened clay. On the whole side of the mountain um, so I just went over there and farmed up about I don't know 15 or 16 stacks of hardened clay and threw them in my macerator and you get a full thing of clay dust from them so instead of trying to like go through the clay balls and all that stuff it's easier just to find a mountain and uh, get your clay dust that way so yeah plenty of stained clay blocks on the canyon biomes or mountains so that is really nice. Um, so I got um, 832, which is 13 stacks. And uh, I need silicon from it, which I do need a bunch of silicon. Um, the only problem is this, uh, this goes uh, really, oops. Problem is stone dust and clay dust both similar. Um, this uses a lot of power, is what I was trying to say. Um, so it like drains the battery obviously because I'm running. I have one little turbine here, and that drains these batteries super fast. Um, so I need to look into upgrading my power gen here. I think now in between episodes, I kind of rearrange this a little bit. As we can see, I put my boiler right next to the tank, kind of straightened out my steam line and just kind of tidied things up a little bit. Just notice that's not connected. Now, this is the one problem with Greg Tech pipes. Like, you can't, like, I can't reach that pipe behind it because it's completely surrounded. So I would have to like break one of these pipes, which is annoying, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because I'm not processing the oil right this second. Um, I did sort this out, and what I ended up doing is I placed these bronze fluid pipes, these 4x4s or whatever they are, or 2x2s. I did the whole thing because what I was finding was when I had the single pipe, um, since like each pipe is its own like, and has like a little, they're like mini tanks basically, which push their um, contents to the ones connecting ones. And what I was finding was hydrogen would fill this and go in here, I have a bunch of hydrogen there, and then like oxygen would find its way down and then oxygen would get stuck here and it would be blocking the hydrogen from going in so these would be hydrogen this would be oxygen like a little tiny little bit like a couple mill buckets of oxygen would be in this one uh, blocking the whole system um, so what I ended up doing I can actually break this I just put uh, filters on top of both of those so hopefully Yeah, that, uh, that connector, right? Um, with the four the four um, pipes or whatever, this should not... Like, I can have four tanks and be fine with this. Um, like, if I did another tank here, another tank here, I could have the four, and that would be fine. And then maybe if I wanted to... I don't know how, like, just throwing this out. Like, if I did another four tanks and connect it, like, farther up kind of thing, I don't know. And put a thing on it. But th then again, the problem with that is you can't place multiple. The filters, you can't put multiple things in the filter, which kind of makes that a bit difficult. But anyway, so that's kind of what I sorted out with that. Now, today... I think I want to work on my 
power. So I have like I'm making I can make light fuel down there. Um, so I kind of want to get that going into these batteries, but what I'm thinking is replacing this because eventually I do want to replace some small batteries with medium and then have it directly into a medium hatch is kind of the goal on over here. What is steam turbine look like all right so this is pretty easy i think i have two of those motors even yeah i already have two of those motors so i can do that the mv hatch is another story though um mv energy hatch i think it's called yeah So the lubricant, I have oil now. I can get that. The pump, it's not too bad. These medium voltage coils. Okay, so I'm going to need a MV assembler for this. I can make these, but I do need an MV assembler. And I think I'm going to need, yeah. All right, so for this, I'm going to need an MV cutting machine um, to cut that down. I'm going to need a precision laser engraver. And then this I can cook up in my blast furnace. Okay, so I need to get the MV energy hatch, I definitely need <laughs> some more uh, machines, a couple um, difficult machines to make because that assembly machine is not. Yeah, that's quite difficult to make. Not difficult, just expensive materials. Alright, but before we get into that, I think I'm kind of just slowly doing electrolyzing all this. Um, but I would like to the thing is, I'm like, should I wait to get this quest done? It's going to take me a while to get that done. Um, no, because I think I'm just going to... I'm going to get tons of silicon eventually. So, um, I think I got... I did, yeah. And I just replaced all my... I just heard it run out of. Sometimes it like it'll stop, and I think it's because it's the the loss in the cables. It'll stop, but it gets enough once the internal buffer um, speeds up again. Um, I'm just gonna throw this in here instead of using my washer, just because I just replaced. Um, my solar boilers. Alright, so there is it again. So sometimes it does struggle. Um, it does eventually work, but it definitely does struggle, and I think it's because of the loss. Anyway, um, let's see, where did that... Oh, there's a couple things I can complete. MV tanks. I completed this low one, so I already had the medium voltage tank. I do need to do these um, to kind of complete those quests. Question is, where is this? There it is. So redstone and this was a two, I think. All right, so I'm thinking if I replace these with uh, eight, eight x redstone alloy cables, I think is that what I want to do? Because that's four ingots each, isn't it? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a half a stack. That's not actually that bad. 
since I get... Yeah, I get so much of this. The only problem is I have to cook this up <laughs> in the blast furnace, and that is not the easiest. So let me... Uh, yeah, let me get some stuff crafted up here, and we will continue. All right, so as I was smelting up the uh, redstone alloy dust, um, I realized this is going to take quite a long time, uh, just because I'm not producing much power. So I figured I would go ahead and uh, craft a couple machines that I'm going to need in the future. And that is, one of them is the precision laser engraver. And the other one is the cutting machine. So um, I want to get the... I'm basically working towards the MV energy hatch. Um, and to get these, I need a cutting machine. And to get these, I need a precision laser engraver. But I just decided to go for the higher tier one. Um, instead of doing the LV one and then replacing it later. So I just figured... I could um, I'll just do it all at once. Now, if we remember crafting these diodes, this gallium arsenide dust was a real pain. I had to get like, I forget what it was, real gar and the nether and tiny things from sphalerite, and it was just a big pain. Um, but I can actually. Um, to get the arsenic now, I can actually electrolyze with uh, my MV electrolyzer. I can electrolyze cobaltite, and I should get, yeah, you can see it in the tooltip, uh, cobalt, arsenic, and sulfur, I think it is. And I got to take this out. And I just, I'll just do one. I don't know how, I don't like running this super fast, long time. I'll just turn that off. I didn't think there was any fluids, but there is the arsenic cobalt. I think that can just be smelted. But yeah, cobalt is used in a lot of stuff, as we can see. So, man, my bags <laughs> have gotten very full. I don't know where. Oh, the sodium. I was like, where did that sodium come from? Keep that on me, sulfur. All right, so I just kind of wanted to show the arsenic, and I had some gallium left over. And if I do that, what is it again? I'm already forgetting. All right, it does have to be done in the mixer, I think. Yeah. With a circuit of two. All these ones that are done in the mixer seem to be a uh, circuit of two, so I just kind of like left one in there. All right, so this will get us two. The gallium, I think, I can get easier now as well, can't I? Yeah, I can just electrolyze sphalerite, I think. Yeah. Oh, it gets a tiny pile, though. Anyway, um, I'll look into that later. I just happen to have some on me, so we were good. And this, All right, those go in there. And these are the MV circuits that I'm doing. I don't know how many more I'm going to need of these, so um, yeah, I don't know if I how many I should craft those diodes. Um, well, See, I need two each, so I need at least 20. All right, so yeah, I'll do four bunches. All right, so 
that has got to come out. I got to figure out a solution for transporting these fluids back and forth because it was getting kind of annoying. Um, right, I need polyethylene from down here. Six might actually be enough. I have plenty left, I just haven't been running those machines and I have a feeling this is empty. No? Oh, I think I turned it off. Alright, so there is the four. We'll put the fine annealed in there. We'll put four of those in and I think it's four of those. Alright. Yeah, it looks like it's using forage. Alright, so the molten polyethylene will get us the best ratio of the diodes. If you look at the, you can do glass, you get one, or you can do polyethylene, you get six. So that is, from what I'm seeing, is the best uh, ratio. So yeah, I love polyethylene. So many different uses. All right, so we can get that in there. Ooh, we are out of soldering iron. Throw that away. Put that away. Hold on to that. Yeah, it always feels good when you get the like the best kind of ratio. It started doing one each, like one of these I'd get one diode, but now we're up to six from one, so that I like the progression. I get not everyone likes that, but I certainly do. All right. So we'll put those away. I think those can go away. Crowbar can go away. And we'll look at what we got left here. So there's my five circuits. I think that includes that. I got a couple more things to correct up here. And uh, we'll just kind of continue with the... Uh, yeah, crafting up the, or smelting up the uh, red Sonelli dust. I have been kind of using this to supplement the steam, because I am using a lot of the steam, and uh, I need this uh, boiler to kind of help. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to get cold coke. Anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show that, and uh, we will come back if uh, I find something else. Uh, that I want to show off or uh, when I get these machines built up. Alright, I am just crafting up stuff here and I've come to a point where I need an ender pearl. And there is actually a quest here that says if we can put a enderman in the smeltery, um, it'll smelt down into probably liquid ender and then I can pour that in a cast. So I created a name tag because it says if you can find a regen enderman and put a name tag, you won't dis uh, despawn. Um, but do you want to keep them from seeing the sky or it will teleport? So I crafted the name tag that gives me a spawn enderman and some coins. And I can also turn coins in for two spawn endermen. So there is that option if I need. Did that not... Complete. Yeah. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so that's annoying when it, uh, that happens. Anyway, so um, I guess we will. I don't know how we want to do this. So I guess we'll build kind of like a. 
thing over it? I don't know. I have no i I know of putting like using the smeltery for a mob farm, but I've never actually done it, so I don't know the behavior of the Enderman. I wonder if that I feel like it's just so open, but uh I mean they can't see the sky from looking straight up, but I don't know if that's what would that's actually gonna work. Um Anyway, we can buy more spawn eggs if needed. Um, so first thing first, I need to smelt. I need um, some sort of, I need like an ingot I can just have in there. What don't I use? I have tons of silver. Yeah, I'll use silver. You need some sort of Molten. Okay, silver. Apparently you can't smelt silver in there. So the one thing I have tons of, I can't smelt down. I guess we'll just use an iron ingot then. Alright, so there's that. And then this is, yeah, that's turned off. I made a gem cast, and the gem cast is just a emerald with some aluminum brass, so I don't remember where I got emeralds from. I had five. I think I got it from mining. But, uh, ooh, I need to... Light that up, because we don't need mobs spawning in there during a blood moon. Or on top of there, that would be... Not uh, good. So we'll see if this works. I have no idea, like I said. But it's fun to see what happens. All right, so we'll leave that in there. I guess we will. I'm like worried, like, if I spawn, he's going to like look at me and then teleport away. All right. Yeah, see, that's... Well, I was kind of looking at him, wasn't I? Um, so that wasn't ideal. I know it's during the day as well. But there's my liquid ender, actually. So... <laughs> um, I wasn't quick enough with the name tag, but I wasn't entirely sure how that whole thing worked. Um, maybe I should try that again, see if we can... It's only like 10, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's only 10. And I have lots of coins. I have all these coins for the survivor. I don't know. All right, so let's... Let's not maybe stare at the Enderman. Um, like an idiot. All right, so we'll do that. Well, he's not... Yeah, they're not... Even though I'm, like, looking at him, he's not doing anything. But that's not a regen one, so I don't need to... Uh... Yep, there he goes. Oh, did he die? No, he's right there. Come back. I do actually want to attack you. Oh, well. But that is like, isn't it like six? Alright. So, yeah, just spawning like a random ender enderman in there gets you tons of ender pearls. Alright. So, I am more than happy with that. Um, and I have tons of coins to get ender enderman egg things. So, yeah, that I hate 
looking for ender pearls. That's like one of my least favorite things in Minecraft is one stuff is um, gated behind ender pearls. All right, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I just wanted to kind of show that off. Um, where are we? So that's there. I forget what the other was it what is it copper all right and there's the emitter and I miss I want to complete this oh look at that and you get eight ender pearls from there I didn't even notice that that's cool we'll complete that which gave us a couple more motors which I actually need Um, I don't see the, there's a press, something, turbine, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't see the precision engraver, but oh well. Now, for this to work, um, I'm just going to throw it under here, I think. Yeah, those come out all four sides, so. Please don't blow up. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to blow up, but I always get so nervous about placing like MV machines right next to them. All right. So the pre precision laser engraver, the one, I guess. I don't know. Well, first, before I can even use that, uh, that's for a like, cutting machine, isn't it? So actually, I should probably pull that out. Now that I just had a thought, the wafers that I need. So this basic wafer is a cutting machine with this silicon bool. Right. All right. So I just had a thought here. If we look at this. I need 32 silicon dust and this gallium arsenide dust, which is it's totally fine. But if we look at this, I need almost over a million EU. And I only have four batteries in here. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need to craft up. I'm going to have to get another battery buffer. Or I could just borrow even nine. Yeah, like nine is not going to be enough. Unless I... I could charge up batteries and then replace these when they start getting low, maybe. But that feels like a bit of a pain. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how I want to do this, actually. Um, but let me get the cutting machine. Actually, that's not where I wanted to put that. I wanted to put the cutting machine. This is totally temporary. I'm going to be expanding my base probably in between these episodes because I'm getting into MV and having them hidden back here is not what I want. All right, but let me get the rest of the cutting machine. I think, well, Yeah, so I I can't even do the wafers yet. Let me, uh, I'm actually going to, I think, cut this episode. Um, I didn't get a whole lot done, unfortunately. Uh, basically just uh, smelting up some redstone and kind of showed off a few things, unfortunately. Um, but next episode, I'm going to have more batteries, I think, and we will figure out... Um, I'll probably be getting into the better, um, for making the circuits, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do this, is getting, like, easier ways to craft them. Yeah, like, getting into, like, this stuff, like, this diode. I can get 64 from like one 
And then, but anyway, I'll have to take a look at this um, in between episodes. These resistors. I will need a better assembler though. So yeah, there's some definitely some stuff I need to look into crafting in between episodes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and have a good one.